Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to repair uh, Mr. Steel PDB from uh, Impulse RC that uh, fell into salt water. That means that it's not working anymore. If I power it up from my power supply, I have uh, zero response on the PDB itself, no LEDs powering up. If you know the topology used in uh, Impulse RC PDBs, you know that uh, they have two regulators in series one switching regulator that uh, is this one which delivers 7.5 volts followed by a linear regulator for the 5 volt rail and if i'm uh, going to test the input of the 5 volt regulator i have 50 millivolts so nowhere near 7.5 I will uh, power off my power supply and let's talk a bit about uh, the obvious faults on this uh, board. This area here is uh, the most affected and that's because uh, here you will find present voltages from the LiPo and as I talked to you in a previous video, corrosion happens on the supply uh, rails and if I look closely here on the input of the linear regulator you can actually see that here is no corrosion at all so that means that uh, this IC went uh, dead or at least stopped functioning pretty quickly after uh, it dropped in the water as you can see here this cap this one this one and those pins from the regulator are completely absent of any solder so these three caps will need the changing most definitely and another issue we have is this pin here which is uh, no more connected to the pad so i will need to address this pin here scraping it so that the copper is more clean I hate when uh, this happens corrosion because it's a pain in the butt I will take my iron clean the tip and apply some fresh solder to the pads hopefully I will not touch anything else and it looks connected let me just turn this a bit for you to see so now it looks connected it's no longer corroded and now I will switch to this side as you can see these pins are having a tough time connecting to the PCB and also these three caps so what I want to do is um, take out this IC and these three caps and for that I will need some uh, flux a little bit of copper tape to protect those connectors because they are very close and even if they are made to resist these uh, temperatures usually they get uh, affected by high heat heating up the PCB right now from a distance as I uh, told you so many times I need more flux here because I didn't touch these uh, caps I am staying in this uh, preheat uh, stage a, li a little bit longer because uh, being a PDB most definitely it has a lot of copper inside so um, it uh, will need more time to get to the desired temperature and now I will get closer
we took it out and as I expected we have here a lot of bad stuff also this little cap should be changed okay all the other parts look decent to me and now soldering iron fresh solder and soldering these tiny pads Just to make sure those uh, caps are not affected, I am uh, touching with the uh, iron on the sides. They look okay. Also these resistors Now I will take some uh, solder wick and rearrange this uh, PCB so that it will be easier for me. and cleaning the area okay so look how shiny and new the pads are now because we eliminated the corrosion and uh, resolder them now I will prepare the IC to be placed back taking some uh, solder paste placing it in the bit of solder paste holding it uh, in place so that uh, it's not pushed away just a little bit
sometimes little balls remains so we need to clean it okay applying some more solder paste Taking my Dunner good condition caps. In my case, I went with my gut feeling on the size of the caps, but uh, most definitely you could uh, ask Impulse RC the values of these uh, caps here. And let's hope I will not push the parts away. You don't have to worry about these uh, two caps here because uh, on this side is uh, ground and on this side is the lipo rail. Taking my trusty old uh, toothbrush and just scraping off everything in this area. We managed to repair all this area here. Replaced three caps because these two were in good condition. The only Question remains if this IC is still in good uh, working condition or it was killed in the corrosion. So to learn that we just uh, power it up and see if it uh, lights up or not. Yeah, so unfortunately the board is not working. Most definitely the reason being that this IC is killed. But to make sure everything is working besides this regulator, I will apply 7.5 volts at its output. I uh, switched the VTX power to 7 volts and I will apply voltage to the VTX output because if you connect these two pins, it means that the VTX power gets connected to the 7.5 or 7 volts rail, which is the output of this uh, regulator. So if I apply 7.5 volts, I should uh, see the PDB light up and start working. As I expected, everything is working fine. So that means that um, 
this regulator is indeed dead so for repairing you will just need to order this part you get the the part number on the ic case itself remember if you have uh, water damage on your parts clean them and inspect every corrosion happening on the pcb don't get fooled by uh, parts that appear to be looking okay because the solder gets um, eaten away by corrosion and also the parts i don't know if i can show you now one part that got corroded if you look here you can see that uh, the copper deposits on the part itself got eaten away and only a small amount remained and that makes this part not working as expected so first thing you need to do when you recover your electronics inspect corrosion everywhere again thank you very much guys for watching i hope this uh, was helpful to you and uh, see you next time Bye.